Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So you are thinking about getting an Italian Greyhound. You thought it might be a nice little dog to bring into your family. In this video, I'm going to give you facts about Iggy's, IG's as they're called, and help you to make your decision if the Italian Greyhound is the right breed for you. If you have an Italian Greyhound and you would like to leave in the comments some information that you think a person who's interested in Italian Greyhounds might find useful, then please leave it in the comments below. My two Italian Greyhounds, Nikki and Beezy. Well, Bees just left, but Nikki will stay. Bees is very shy. Anytime the camera's on, Beezy goes the opposite. Nikki, on the other hand, is very food motivated, loves food, loves to be around people and dogs. What is it like to live with an Italian Greyhound? What's their personality? So that's the first question. What is an Italian Greyhound personality? They're lovable, affectionate, cuddly. They love their warmth. You will never have enough blankets when you have an Italian Greyhound. They love to burrow under the blankets to stay warm. On a chilly morning, they'll stay in bed and say, you get up and wake me up when it's a little warmer. Italian Greyhounds are very sensitive and they respond to positive reward-based training. They don't like people who holler or shout at them. They will freeze, withdraw, but give your dog some positive encouragement, praise and treats and your dog will be very willing and happy to work with you. People ask me, do Italian Greyhounds need exercise? And I will tell them, yes. Walks are great, but it's not enough. Italian Greyhound is part of the Sighthound family and they were bred to run. So an Italian Greyhound needs to have that burst of speed that you see here with Nikki and BB. They are racing and playing through the house. It might not last long, but they are bouncing off the furniture and around the table and back into that pile of blankets. I keep those blankets there all the time. That is their safe place where they can bounce from the couch onto those blankets. This is the type of exercise that an Italian Greyhound needs whether you provide it inside in your home or your apartment. And Italian Greyhounds make great apartment dogs, but you have to provide the exercise. Or you provide a little grass area outside where they can run. I have a very small yard, but you can see Nikki and BB dash out the door and after that squirrel or that chipmunk, because Italian Greyhounds are hunters. Never forget that. And they might bring you a present. Chipmunk, field mouse, and I have had all those presents given to me over the years by my Italian greyhounds. So they are hunters and they might bring you an animal. The best present I got was from Dancer. He loved to hunt. And he walked in my kitchen carrying an opossum. Yeah, you got it, opossum. And when I said leave it, dancer who was very well trained, dropped the possum. I was in my kitchen with a live possum hissing and spitting in the corner. And I very gently guided him back outside with a broom. But because IGs are hunters, you can always expect those little presents. Person might ask you, do Italian greyhounds like to jump? The answer is yes. You can see this dog jumping up toward the counter and this Italian Greyhound jumping up onto this woman. So they love to jump. They're very athletic. And because of the jumping, especially in puppies, you have to be so careful that they don't get hurt. And by, what I mean by that is that they don't break a leg because that can happen. And here's a puppy with his cast on as he's recovering from a broken leg. And if they do break their leg, you care for them, you take care of them, 
you keep them confined, you walk them on a leash until the leg heals. It's something that we all deal with with Italian Greyhounds. And when you have a puppy that's racing around and darting, your heart is in your mouth and you're thinking, oh, please be safe. But all you can do is try to protect them because they wanna run, they're bred to run. Puppies especially, they think they can fly. They will bounce off of furniture, chairs, and they have no fear. So you have to protect them. If you have a puppy Italian Greyhound, I never let my puppies up onto the furniture until they could jump up on their own. When they could, then I help them by holding onto them by their waist and guiding them so they could jump into a pile of blankets. You need to teach an Italian Greyhound how to jump down and not out into the air. And because there might be some medical expenses, a good thing to think about is the health insurance. They have pet health insurance, which will help to defray the costs if there has to be surgery or any other medical problem. Do Italian greyhounds do well in cold weather? They can, but you have to provide a warm coat and boots. They can't stay out very long, but if you take them out to go potty and bring them right back in in the cold weather, they can do fine. Or for many people who live in cold weather climates, they teach them to use potty pads. And this is probably the most asked question as far as an Italian Greyhound. And that question is, are they hard to potty train? The answer is yes. They're a small dog, so therefore they can sneak away and pee a little spot and you don't find it till you step in it. So they have the, the small dog difficulty as well. But an Italian Greyhound can be very difficult to potty train. But it's not impossible. I've had many Italian Greyhounds over the last 40 years, and I can say, in all honesty, the majority of them were potty trained, either to go on pee pads indoors or to go outside. Now, there are some people who have said to me, I could never get my Italian Greyhound potty trained. And that's always a possibility. So if you're thinking about this breed, you have to say to yourself, can I deal with a dog that may have accidents in the house if I'm not successful in getting my dog potty trained? It takes consistency and patience. There are some people who use belly bands on their males because they don't feel they can trust them 100%. Potty training is always a big question with Italian Greyhounds. And you have to be very, very consistent. It takes time. Here's a picture of Nikki on her pee pad and Nikki is 99.99% .99 house trained. I would almost say 100. She has not had an accident in many, many years. Do Italian greyhounds bark? I say yes, they do. They alert bark. They let you know when there is any strange sound or noise out there. They tell you during the day or in the evening. So be prepared to have a dog that will bark when they hear something. One question I frequently get is, are Italian Greyhounds social with people and other dogs? Most Italian Greyhounds, like all people, really depends on the background of your dog. Some of the rescues are not trusting of people. But puppies, if you give them a lot of socialization, usually are great with people. And with other animals, Italian Greyhounds love to play with one of their own kind, as you can see here with the two Italian Greyhounds playing. But they frequently like all dogs. I don't encourage them to play with dogs larger than they are if I think they might get hurt. But Italian Greyhounds love to play with all dogs. Grooming in Italian Greyhounds, most of it is very easy. If you have a bristle brush, you just simply have a nice brush with your dog and you can feed them as you go to let them know. And it keeps the coat shiny and clean 
takes out any of the loose hairs. So that's it for brushing a bath, uh, maybe once a month or once every six weeks, and you're good to go. But teeth are another matter. And what you know is that you need to brush your dog's teeth at least three to four times a week, or you're gonna end up with a dog with dental decay. The Italian Greyhound was bred down from the full-size Greyhound. So as they were bred down, of course, the small dogs have less roots to the tooth. So if you don't brush their teeth regularly, you're gonna end up with a dog that has to have a dental and have teeth removed. Some people say every day their teeth need to be brushed. Take care of those teeth. One thing that you need to be aware of is that there is epilepsy in Italian greyhounds. If you have a dog that seizures, as I did many, many years ago, you protect them, move them from, remove them from other dogs. Royal was on medication for years. He lived to be 14. That is one thing that you should ask the person that is the breeder of your dog, which comes to my last point, And that is, where do you buy an Italian greyhound? Please do not buy from a pet shop. You're supporting a puppy mill. And then you'll have people that say, don't buy at all. Well, I disagree with that. There are many reputable, good quality breeders that have done so much research and they are devoted to the Italian Greyhound. They make sure that the mother has had genetic testing to be sure that there are no problems. Same with the father. They have spent their life devoted to making the Italian Greyhound the great little breed that it is. You also are getting a puppy that the breeder stands by and they will say to you that if you can't keep your puppy, bring it back to them. If you can't keep your dog for any reason, bring it back to them. There are no questions asked because they believe that that puppy, which was born in their home, is their responsibility for that dog's entire life. So buy from a reputable breeder, do your research, or go to a rescue organization like the Italian Greyhound Club of America's rescue and the regional rescue organizations. So this is my dog, Nikki, and I hope I've answered some questions for you about Italian Greyhounds. If you decide the Italian Greyhound is the dog for you after this video, then welcome to the family. If you have an Italian Greyhound and you would like to leave in the comments some information that you think a person who's interested in Italian Greyhounds might find useful, then please leave it in the comments below. If you'd like more information about potty training, you can go to the video, Potty Train Your Puppy with Pads. You can see the video on buying supplies for the new puppy. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you receive all the episodes. And bye from Joyce and Nikki at Diamond Dog Training. Bye-bye.